Hello everyone, I am Bhumika. I am presently a legal intern under Lexis & Company, a law firm. I am from Reva University, Bangalore, pursuing BALLB Honors, second year. So today's topic for the discussion is right to vote. Uh, we will be going to discuss what is right to vote and what are its constitutional validity and uh, whether everyone uh, stand in equal par with this right to vote and we will conclude by saying that how important is this uh, right to vote for every citizen of India which is the uh, largest democracy in the world. So let us begin today's topic. So right to vote as we all know that it is a uh, franchise it is called as adult franchise wherein adults that is in India uh, above 18 years who falls under above 18 years of age they all are considered as adults and um, they will be having this uh, right to vote in the elections uh, may to be Lok Sabha elections or, or a state legislative assembly elections district level uh, elections or in the local le local level government elections so now this is all about adult franchise or it is also called as universal adult franchise so next uh, we'll see that whether all are equal under this right to vote uh, so we look into the constitutional provisions so we'll see what the what does it say in the bear act so article 325 under the Indian Constitution. Article 325 says that no person to be ineligible for inclusion in or to claim to be included in a special electoral electoral role on grounds of religion, race, caste or sex. So here our constitution says that all are equal and no one will be getting any special privileges uh, in their names in the electoral roles. So based on their uh, religion, race, caste, sex or any of them. So all are on the equal path. And let us see where does this uh, concept of adult franchise comes in the constitution. It is under article 326 of our Indian constitution where does it says that elections to the house of the people that is Lok Sabha and to the legislative assemblies of uh, states to be on the basis of adult suffrage. So that is above 18 years. But this article also lays down certain conditions. The conditions are that it says that the person who are of unsound mind, unsound mind and crime or corrupt or illegal practice. So these people are barred from practicing or their names will not come in the electoral role. So they are barred from practicing this right of uh, universal adult franchise that is right to vote in India. So why these... Um, no, so our constitution of India bars uh, keeps this limit uh, for that the unsound mind people and few other people cannot participate in this right to vote uh, or in the uh, they cannot uh, poll their uh, vote in the elections. Next is that prisoners. Uh, do you guys think prisoners uh, have this right to vote? So uh, put your answers in the comment section. But. Um, I will be telling the answer now that uh, in India all the prisoners whether it is under trial prisoners or even it is the prisoners who is having like imprisonment death sentence or the prisoners who, who are uh, in the jails uh, for petty crimes that they had done all the prisoners are barred from participating in this uh, voting process in the election so, so now um, uh, recently three law students have been uh, filed a uh, public interest litigation on this basis so this um, provision is mentioned uh, under um, section 62 clause 5 of the representation of the people's act uh, in this section it says that people who are in prisons and the convicts who are uh, uh, giving their uh, uh, sentence in the jails and uh, persons who are convicts and even under trials any such person cannot uh, uh, participate in this uh, voting process so why did they include this uh, it might be the reason to say that uh, these prisoners have they are not the law abiding citizens they already uh, broke this uh, rules and regulations and they have gone to the jails so, so they cannot be put in the same lines as the law abiding citizen that is the normal citizens who are out from the jails and they are exercising their rights and they are performing their duties lawfully so they can't be placed under the same lines right 
so this might be one reason and also those people who are breaking the laws uh, i think constitutional makers have thought that why why to make uh, these uh, law breaking citizens to give a chance to select who should be their representatives so so these might be various reasons but uh, the sad part is these prisoners gets uh, right to employment they are given employment in the jails and uh, they are given a uh, job so that they can send money to their family they are given education as well so these three uh, law students has filed a public interest litigation in supreme court saying that even these prisoners uh, should get right to uh, vote as well in the elections uh, so their contention is that uh, article 14 is getting violated and uh, on part of that article 19 also is getting violated wherein 19 says that uh, freedom of speech and expression and also article 21 also is getting violated in that the golden rule we uh, as we know that uh, so they are asking for the right to vote for all these um, prison uh, prisoners so now uh, to conclude by saying that what is the importance of this uh, right to vote is that this right looks very simple as such many people uh, waste uh, this right by not uh, by not attending the uh, election process or the voting process and all they just uh, take it as a holiday as, as such so they should actually uh, right uh, use this right uh, given to them that is right to vote uh, because uh, that is the very grassroots level way where we can choose right candidate and uh, we can build a strong and stable government so when we choose correct representatives our government also will be still and the nation will go grow towards development right so everyone um, let's use this right wisely and vote for the right candidate thank you